Welcome to my channel. Please enjoy the video. So while I was waiting for the dust to settle on this one, Keisha Cole's mom, Frankie Calls of Death, is still questionable. So family members announced that on July 19th of 2021, Francine Frankie Lons passed away on her 61st birthday and left her daughters alone. And although there is no official report about Keisha Cole's mom, Frankie Calls of Death, at this time today, I was trying to wait and see whether, when they were going to come out with that autopsy. Frankie Lines probably died from health problems that she had due to her struggle with drug addiction. Now, first they stated that she died from a drug overdose. However, there was no autopsy or official report released to the public. But they're saying that she had probably had, and that was what they stated, probably died from health problems that she had due to her struggle with drug addiction. So which one is it going to be? So I do remember back in 2013 when Frankie was out in LA, she got really drunk and high and she was at a LA hotel that she was staying in and she went and walked under a sign and that sign fell and hit her on her head. Okay, and she wanted to sue the hotel. She was in process of suing the hotel. However, she says she was walking out of the hotel and she was just minding her own business. When she pulled the door to exit the lobby, a heavy exit sign that was hanging loosely fell and landed on her head. Yes, guys, a exit sign. Was there a blood sacrifice then? Was that a setup? Because she was staying at that hotel. There were many people going in and out of that hotel. Why did the exit sign fall onto Frankie's head and no one else's head? Why didn't it fall on the head of the people she was with? Although that report never stated who Frankie was with at the hotel. I thought that was really odd. So after that happened, Frankie claims that she suffered severe and permanent injuries. And when she filed her lawsuit, she stated that she was really hurt in this accident and she was seeking damages for her medical expenses and loss of earnings, as well as a little something for her pain and suffering. Now for a sign to fall on your head, a big exit sign, yes, that has to be pain and suffering. I don't think she was just trying to sue them. But guys, just pay attention to the pictures that you guys see. Yes, Keisha Cole is in that clique. They all are. They all are a part of that system, a part of the machine. None of them get a pass, okay? Now, for one, guys, we know that Keisha Cole's mother sent her on her way, on her way with a pork chop on her back. No change of clothes. She sent her out with the clothes on her back and like I said with a fried pork chop attached to her back in a bag this is true these are facts so for Frankie to reappear once Keisha Cole became famous was nothing more than a humiliation ritual you want to know why why did they bring her mom back around her decided to turn it into a reality show if all you guys watched the Keisha Cole reality show with her mom, Frankie, it was very interesting, but it was also embarrassing and a total disaster. So why did Keisha Cole keep going on with the show? Why didn't she just go behind the scenes with her mother and get her the help? Because you have all of this money. She could have gotten her mother off drugs if she really, really wanted to. Not only that, guys, what everybody is not even noticing is that Keisha Cole intentionally yes allegedly we have to say that so I'm going to put a disclaimer on this video Keisha Cole continued to feed her mother's drug habit with all of the money she was making no real care or rehab yeah to check herself in look she could have got her mom into one of the top notch drug rehab facilities to really rehabilitate her and help her eventually because it's one day at a time. But it's, it's kind of like, you guys just have to pay attention. She's in that bracket and it seems like a lot and lots of more of these celebrities are either sacrificing their family members on birthdays, something to do with either the 
sacrificee or sacrificer. It's their birthday. I just don't believe that this lady was partying on her birthday in overdose. She was surrounded by people who loved her. How are you and your sister Nephi and her husband? I'm being told several things about them that they have their addictions. Also, how is it that you guys were partying and you guys know that Keisha Cole allegedly was with her mom on her birthday? And you were not watching out for your mother to see how high she was getting? I'm not saying that Keisha Cole can stop her mother from, do from doing whatever she wants her to do to stop doing because her mother is a grown a woman. Okay? I'm just not buying that she was partying on her birthday and she just overdosed. I am quite sure that Keisha Cole, that this lady, Frankie, was all around the people that she thought loved her, which would have been her children and her grandchildren. I can't see... Okay, like, like I said, I wasn't sure on how I was going to come with this video. But, however, I wanted to wait on the autopsy report or some other information to leak out from the outlets before I went ahead and did this video too early. I wanted to come with all of my facts. I didn't want to speculate, but so far due, during, due to my digging, guys, this is what I came up with. I really thought it was odd that they mentioned and they went from saying that she died from a drug overdose. Now they are stating that Frankie may have died from those injuries due to the exit sign falling on her head that happened back in 2013 not saying that those injuries could not have succumbed to her um and caused more you know um damage on the inside that she probably didn't even go get checked out but the fact that she was suing them she had to have been seen by doctors um for anything that may have happened but like I said, guys, I thought that that was the suspicious itself. And I did have that in my back pocket about the exit sign. And they said it was a really big exit sign that fell on top of her head, the crown of her head. And like I said, was that a first attempt for a blood sacrifice to make it look like an accident? Remember, guys, when these celebrities their family members whether they're sacrificing them or they're being sacrificed it's always going to first be a drug overdose it's going to be an accident it's going to be something to make it look like it was unplanned but these things are planned guys and like i said keisha cole is no different she's in the sector she's in the hollywood world yes keisha cole throws up the three sixes this is not alleged because if you guys take a look at the footage, you can see her doing that in this video. She's wearing the cross in all black. She is no different from the other celebrities, okay? She has to take her rituals. She has to do her pledges. Hey, why not go ahead? I'm tired of my mom suffering anyway. She's suffering. This should be easy for me to do. I'm tired of her suffering. I'm tired of watching her suffer. I don't want my children to continue to see their grandmother suffer. And you guys got to remember, Keisha Cole had adoptive parents that raised her. She knew that Frankie was her biological mother, but her mother... You guys don't see her mother, her actual adopted mother, posting up with her like Frankie was. Frankie was all over Keisha Cole, all on the shows, all, you know, in the public, in the limelight. So actually, it was stated when Keisha Cole came out and she began to get famous and somebody actually notified uh, Frankie because Frankie was so busy in the streets. She was in places she should not have been as being a woman and being a human being. She had no knowledge that her daughter was even famous. So it had to either been a family member that reached out, but in my opinion, Frankie walked into her own death. If you guys ever heard the saying, leave well enough alone, Frankie didn't do that. 
like I stated, the photos that you see, and I'm not saying that Keisha Cole didn't love her mother, but it was not a genuine love. And she knew that she was going to have to make a sacrifice one day and soon. And voila, Frankie pops up. She still wants to get to know her mother, but she knows that relationship, she can't go back to that. However, she had to choose. Is it going to be Frankie or is it going to be Virgil? which is her father. Now, her father really didn't even know that her mom was pregnant with her until he saw her. He knew he had been with Frankie when they were younger, and he knew that Keisha Cole was his daughter. And that's really not hard to differentiate if you guys can see who Mr. Virgil Hunter is. Keisha Cole's son looks just like his grandfather. But back to the facts. When you see Keisha Cole taking photos with Frankie, Keisha Cole is smiling because she knows what she has to do. She's not going to put her adoptive mother in harm's way. She's not going to sacrifice her. The hugs, the smiles, and everything with Frankie is staged and forced. Yes, guys, allegedly, this is not a woman that is happy to be reunited with her mother that left her with a pork chop tied on her back. But however, this woman could one day make her very, very, very more rich and famous because she's going to pick her as the blood sacrifice, not the mother that she knows and knows that loves her and never left her. Actually did a lot more for her than Frankie has emotionally and on the inside. Keisha Cole had to make a choice, but she already knew what the choice was going to be. So she went through the humiliation ritual, and that's when they did the reality show. Keisha knew that Frankie was the blood sacrifice. Take a look at this lady. This is Keisha Cole's adopted mother. Do you see how this is so real and genuine? She embraces this woman. She loves this woman. Their smiles connect on a level that you would think that this is the actual woman who gave birth to her. This is who she really loves. And this woman right here, she would never give her up as a blood sacrifice. So they had to make it seem like it was a drug overdose. Now they're saying that she had some underlined health conditions and that they're using the sign exit sign because she was supposed to exit it then in 2013. Put it together, guys. She was supposed to have been gone in 2013. However, I believe in my heart that Frankie, in my opinion, survived that accident. And it was not an accident. Keisha Cole wanted to get her out of here as soon as possible. It became hard. I really believe that Frankie did stop getting high. Something else took place and I was just trying to wait for more facts to come out. But this is what I was able to capture so far, guys. So let's just wait and see because it's like three or four days after the fact. Let's see what else sneaks out or leaks out about this situation. Because we already know what it is. For all my truthers, we already know what this is. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell.